Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. I welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, after returning to, from a trip to Southeast Asia, my son told me that he has a wonderful pop chop dish. He described this pop chop dish is probably the best pop chop that he has ever had. Uh, he said the pop chop is very thinly sliced and has a very light breading. And it is very flavorful. So he asked me, would I be able to reproduce it? Uh, I don't eat pop chop very often. And based on his description, uh, I know that this pop chop is not grilled. Uh, rather, it is probably pan fried. Okay, so I'm going to try it with my shallow fry technique, which I have used in the past uh, for various types of meat, uh, from chicken, shrimp, fish, and beef. Based on my experience with this method, uh, I believe that it will work very well with pork. I'm going to create a very light breading with cornstarch. When my son told me that the coating is light and crispy, uh, I know cornstarch must be used. I used about uh, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch that were enough for me to coat 5 pieces of uh, pork chops. Uh, for the seasoning mix, uh, it's based on how I think my son would like it. I'm going to start out with some of my basic seasoning mix and I'm going to reinforce it first of all with some garlic powder. This is then followed by some lemon pepper and then some cumin as well as some ginger powder. Based on my past experience in using these seasoning agents, uh, I know it will give the pork chop an interesting but not overwhelming flavor. Uh, after mixing everything up, I'm ready to coat the pork chop. Uh, I bought this pop chop from Audi. Uh, they are thinly sliced. Uh, I choose this over the regular size pop chop uh, because it will cook faster. And also, based on my son's description, uh, I think this is what will fit his bill. I do not add any fluid to this cornstarch mix, but because of the moisture that already present on the pop chop, so it pick up the breading really well. Based on my past experience in using uh, this cornstarch mix, uh, for other meat, uh, I know it will provide a very light uh, breading. Uh, this will give the pop chop a slight uh, crispiness. So okay, now the pop chop has been coated and I am ready to cook. I am going to start with 2 tablespoons of canola oil uh, in my Cuisina 14 inch stainless steel wok. Uh, this wok has a relatively large flat surface area which allow it to double as a small frying pan. This is particularly useful in this instance because I can lay out the pop chops on the surface of the wok. Uh, this method is very useful uh, for pan frying anything that you want and it often refers to as shallow frying because you only need a very small amount of cooking oil to achieve the desired results. Uh, to make sure that I have a good uh, non-stick cooking surface, uh, I'm going to season the wok uh, with my spot seasoning method. If you are not familiar with this uh, seasoning method, uh, you can take a look at this video. And it works really well with a stainless steel wok uh, as well as any other type of wok with natural surfaces that require seasoning. The flat surface of this wok is just enough to put uh, three pieces of pretty good size pop chop. Uh, I need to arrange them a little bit, uh, almost like fitting in a jigsaw puzzle to make sure all the three pieces fit well uh, at the bottom surface of the wok. Uh, this video is a good demonstration to show you the versatility of a wok. Uh, you use it not just for stir frying, but you can use it for many other different purposes as long as you choose the right wok. A different wok has different type of uh, bottom surface. Uh, some of them are round and some of them with a flat surface that are appropriate for most of modern cooking stove. Uh, however, the flat surface area are different from one wok to the others. Uh, there are both advantages and disadvantages of this different type of uh, uh, woks. Uh, you can take a look at this video that I discuss woks with different cooking surfaces uh, with their pros and cons.
Uh, personally, I like walks with a larger flat surface area because it makes them more versatile. I use my Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok for almost all my cooking. Uh, in fact, 99% uh, of all my cooking are done in this particular wok. Uh, I cook the pop chop on one side for about 2-3 to three minutes and by this point I actually have set the stove setting to medium low. Uh, I turn the pop chop over and they look really nice. I particularly like the little bit charring at the edge of the pop chop that will give them great flavor. Uh, I cook the pop chop on the other side for another 2-3 to three minutes. Uh, when I turn them over they look really nicely done. So um, that's it. Now the pop chops are ready to be served. And because the pop chop is very thin, so the total cook time is about six to seven minutes. And when my son tasted, he was very happy. Uh, in fact, he said uh, this tastes almost exactly the same as what he had, except uh, this actually even better. And so I cook him another batch. And like I said, uh, normally I do not eat much pop chop. But this is actually quite delicious and I think I'm going to add it to my regular rotation. So I'm going to use my prepping method that I'm going to wrap the pop chop individually and uh, so I can thaw them out anytime I want. So this video provides you a good demonstration of my fast cooking system where the word fast is the acronym for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying and template based cooking. And the goal is to make home cooking as efficient, fun, and delicious as possible uh, so that you can uh, do home cooking every day uh, from fresh and unprocessed ingredients, uh, which is a tremendous investment of your health and uh, psychological well-being. And if you find this video informative, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a video each day to help you to understand as well as to adopt my fast cooking system. So I'll see you tomorrow.